Welcome to Supreme Master Television. Today on Science and Spirituality, we present excerpts from our interviews with the best-selling Japanese author and peace advocate, Dr. Masaru Emoto. He is well known for his classic text, Hidden Messages in Water. Dr. Emoto's pioneering research is featured in the critically acclaimed American film, What the Bleep Do We Know? Using the medium of water, he has proven that our thoughts and emotions have great power. Dr. Emoto has shown through high-resolution photography of frozen water crystals that prayer, blessings and strong feelings physically change the crystalline structure of water molecules. Since the majority of our body is made up of water, the implication of his fascinating discovery is that our thoughts and emotions have a direct effect on our overall health. Born in 1943 in Japan, Dr. Emoto is a graduate of the Yokohama Municipal University's Department of Humanities and Sciences. In 1992, he received a certification as a Doctor of Alternative Medicine, which is a field of medical practice based on spiritual, metaphysical and newly developed approaches to healing. Dr. Emoto was introduced to the concept of microcluster water and magnetic resonance analysis technology. From that point onwards, he started his research and uncovered the amazing mysteries behind the crystal structures of frozen water. Dr. Emoto travels tirelessly across the globe sharing his message of harmony. He has led groups in many different nations in bringing love and blessings to some of the major rivers and tributaries of the planet. Supreme Master Television has had the honor to speak with Dr. Emoto on several occasions. The following are segments from our various interviews with him, which gives us perspective on his important work. Your question, how did you start? Where did the idea of, of capturing a droplet of water, freezing it, and, and kind of see what it would look like at the molecular level? Did it come in a dream? Was it something that was inspired? さあ、ドア、え、今日結晶のね、写真を見て、ああ、それから、あの、水もね、え、雪も水ですから、雪に、雪に結晶あるんだな、水に、もうこれは結晶はこれぐらいかと思ったんです。あ、私は何か前世で
そのバイブレーションを運んでくれるものがいわゆる水であることに気がつきました、まあ、あのその前につまりその、えー、結果としてですね私は水だけで病気をもちろん情報をプラスされてますが水だけで病気を治すという手法を確立したわけでありますそれはとてもとても話題を読,読みました His well-received book, The Hidden Messages in Water, describes how water is deeply connected to our individual and collective consciousness. He suggests that water, as it has been created by God, possesses the ability to absorb, hold, and even transmit human feelings and emotions. The power of our words is so great that Dr. Emoto has shown that it can remove pollutants from contaminated water. In one experiment conducted in 1999, Mr. Nobuo Shayatani, Dr. Emoto, and 340 people from all over Japan gathered at a revered lake known as Lake Biwa in Western Japan. Unfortunately, the water body had become increasingly dirty and polluted over the years. The assembled group repeatedly chanted the following verse, composed by Mr. Shiatani, called the Great Declaration, while standing on the banks of the lake. The eternal power of the universe has gathered itself to create a world with true and grand harmony. The results of this experiment were astounding. The result of this experiment was astounding. 今年の美白は異常であると例年なら悪臭がすごくてその苦情電話が300件以上あるのに今年は1件もなかったという記事があるのに Dr. Emoto realized how the pollutants were removed from the lake after he had read a scientific paper published by Professor Maeda of the Prefectural College of Osaka, Japan about removing dioxins and PCBs or polychlorinated biophenols, both toxic substances from water. えー、ダイオキシンや PCB がなくなってしまったとそういう,う研究成果の発表の記事でしたそれを読んでなるほどあの時琵琶湖にそういう現象が起きたんだすなわち我々の祈りは超音波波動を作ったんだという確信を持つに至りましたなぜ、えー、超音波で、えー、ダイオキシンや PCB がなくなるかというと、まあ、超音波というのはいあの1秒間に20万回振動したり、えー、そういうようなあのすごい振動ですねでそれはそういうものが水の中に当たるとあのその振動がすごいがゆえにバブルを作るわけです泡をねそして泡を作って、えー、作りますが PCB やダイオキシンはあその泡ができるとその中に隠れ込むんですねそういう癖があるんですでだけどその泡がゆえにバブルがゆえにあの入った瞬間にまた爆発するわけですでその時の温度が温度換算でエネルギーが5000度相当だというんですね大変な熱量が出るわけですうん、量はねそしてそのエネルギーがそんだけのバーンと爆発するから、えー、PCB もダイオキシンも、えー、分解されて元の原子に戻るんですだからあ毒性がなくなるということをその先生はあ発見したんです We will pause briefly for some messages. When we return, we will have some more from our engaging interviews with Dr. Masaru Emoto. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to Science and Spirituality on Supreme Master Television. Where we are profiling best selling Japanese author and peace advocate, Dr. Masaru Emoto, and his work demonstrating how our speech and thoughts create vibrations that can be seen in water crystals. 
He calls this phenomenon Hado. Hado literally means wave or move. In other words, Hado represents all the subtle energies that exist in the universe. According to Dr. Emoto, Hado creates words. Words are the vibrations of nature. Therefore, beautiful words create beautiful nature. Ugly words create ugly nature. This is the root of the universe. Dr. Emoto has said that beautiful words have beautiful, clear vibrations. Thus, if the letters L-O-V-E are written, such a word will bear the constructive vibration of love. In his experiments, he has shown how the word love can be transmitted to water, causing it to produce crystals of indescribable beauty. Here, Dr. Emoto explains that music also has a profound effect on water and hence on humankind. もちろんそうです。だから私たち音楽が大好きです。水に文字を見せる。良い言葉を見せると良い美しい結晶を作り、悪い言葉を見せると悪い結晶を作る。大変不思議な水の he describes how we are all connected and therefore how we should view everything as if it is a part of us. この世の全ての音を聞くことのできる存在、そういう方がいらっしゃいました。それは観音様と言われる方です。例えば道端の小石にも振動がありますよ、音を出しているんですよ、花にも果物にも全ての物が生きているんですよと伝えられました。だからす
Please join us again next Monday for part two of our program, where we will feature more excerpts from our interviews with Dr. Masaru Emoto and his perspectives on the power of the word and thoughts, the importance of vibrations, and the amazing properties of water. Thank you, intelligent viewers, for joining us today for this edition of Science and Spirituality. Up next is Words of Wisdom after Noteworthy News. May the divine vibrations of the universe resonate with you, Patton. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash ss.